minute today, I wanted to build a essentially a pitch pipe for tuning a ukulele. Now, this is not a tuner in that it's not going to tell us when we have the right uh, notes, but it's instead going to give us a reference pitch so that we can then tune the strings by ear. Uh, so here's my daughter's ukulele. Um, so what I've got is this little Circuit Playground Express, and when I press the uh, A button, it's going to cycle through those notes for us. And then if we want to just play one of those notes while we're tuning, we can use the four capacitive touch pads here. Let's take a look at how uh, I built this in Make Code. Uh, you can see here I have a, an array that I build on start that is the array of my four pitches. There's my little note to myself, uh, G, C, E, A. So these are those pitches in Hertz. Uh, and then I have a variable that I created called note, and that's essentially which string we're on, which note we're playing. And here you can see every time we press the A button, I first blank the pixels, turn them black, then I set the pixel at the current note to pink. I play a tone at whatever this pitch's string has in the place of the current note. So originally, initially that's zero. Uh, when we are done playing it, we then increment that variable note by one. So it essentially means we're moving to the next string for the next time we use this. Uh, and then we're also using this modulo remainder of note divided by four to loop through one, two, three, or zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. Uh, the individual touch pads are done using this input touch A4, A5, A6, and A7. And they do the same thing, but it's a little simpler because they just explicitly say play pitch zero, one, two, or three. And you can do it inside of the uh, simulator here. And you can even test out those touch pads. You won't hear that right now. Uh, but if I use my real uh, Circuit Playground Express down here, you can use those to tune up your uke. And that is your Make Code Minute.